betrayed and broken. That's how one veteran says that she felt after her treatment by the VA. Sephora Pendleton served in the military for more than a decade, becoming one of the top Air Force Reserve recruiters in the country. She earned awards and accolades, but when it came time for the VA to step in and support her, she says the agency turned its back. Her treatment now prompting federal legislation demanding change. 2 News investigator Marla Carter has been instrumental in bringing the case to life. Senator Inhofe's office is in the process of working on a fix to ensure what happened to Sephora never happens to another veteran. Sephora Pendleton never got to meet Benjamin David. I never got to hold him. I never got to kiss him. I never got to tell him that I loved him. But one procedure never approved by the VA, one recommendation the VA never took, may have sealed Benjamin's fate before he was ever brought into this world. Play the card. Sephora has five boys. It's a rowdy house. And with a sixth boy on the way, it was about to get even rowdier. Sephora's last two pregnancies required some extra attention, so this time she started seeing a specialist who deals with high-risk pregnancies. About four months in, her physician, Dr. Fumia, noticed something that looked like a serious concern. The placenta might migrate into the bladder. So he wanted to do an MRI and a bladder scan. Dr. Fumia had stated previously that I had a very high risk um, of rupturing and bleeding out and that these tests needed to be completed within seven days. But despite the warning of the potentially life-threatening situation, the VA denied the bladder scan and didn't immediately approve the MRI either. Savora immediately called the Muskogee VA relentlessly, trying to get its decision changed. A week had passed. Still, the VA would not approve the procedure. I woke up just like any other normal day, woke up my children, get them ready for school. Then she went back to her room. As soon as my head hit the pillow, I felt a huge gush of blood. It was as if I had a water hose that was on full blast. The blood was from an internal tear, something doctors told Sephora the bladder scan would have detected. Sephora was taken to the hospital and ended up in a six hour surgery. She made it through the surgery, but little Benjamin did not. That I lost my baby, and that I'm barren, and that I buried my son, that I almost died all at the neglect of the VA. For weeks, Sephora and Senator Inhofe's office worked to arrange a meeting with the Muskogee VA. All the while, Sephora says the medical director, James Floyd, sent these emails to Inhofe's office, saying Sephora was a chronic no-show and said the bladder scan was denied for the baby's safety. All things Sephora said were not true. In fact, according to more emails obtained by the two news investigators, Floyd apologized to Sephora, acknowledging the scan would not have harmed the baby after all. To be denied that, to lose your child, then to be lied to. Slap in the face. I mean, I, the care that I deserved, the care that I needed, they withheld. We reached out to Floyd. He declined a request for an interview. After hearing about Sephora's case, Senator Jim Enhoff requested the Inspector General investigate. There's something that could have been done and the treatment was recommended. Oh, I know, I love Benjamin too. <laughs> Sephora's bladder scan was never approved by the VA. The MRI was three days after Benjamin was laid to rest. Sephora is working with Senator Inhofe's office to create a way so veterans can receive immediate approval for referrals from specialists like bladder scans and MRIs. So no other veteran like Sephora has to wait for or wrongfully be declined any procedures. Marla Carter, 2 News Works for you.